Hello, this is Joseph Emanuele from your Costa Rica Connection and Remax Trace Amigos, Bly Hermosa, Costa Rica. If this video is informative to you and you liked it, click like. If you want to see more videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button. When I do a new one, you'll be notified. So let's get on with it. Today is Monday, July 27th. Uh, today's driving restrictions here in Costa Rica because of COVID. I'm not allowed to drive, so I'm sitting here in my back patio doing this little video. Uh, a lot of people already know that Costa Rica has opened up the borders to international air travel, effective in reality August 2nd, because it's 11.59 p.m. August 1. Nobody's arriving then. So anyway, August 2nd, international arrivals will be allowed. Uh, the Costa Rican government did put a bunch of regulations in place for those arriving and which countries could come. So as of now, it's the European Union, the United Kingdom, and Canada, uh, as well as the Shigan countries in parts of Europe, okay? So they're allowed to come. However, there are protocols in place, and some of the protocols kind of don't make sense. I'm not going to be able to achieve them. So, you know, it, it's kind of a little bit difficult. You know, some of the pro protocols are you, you have to have a COVID test 48 hours prior to taking the flight. Well, most countries, when you take a test, it takes at least 72 hours to get the results. You also have to complete an epidemiology form, okay? Uh, the link for that form is down below in the description of this video. Uh, you're also going to have to have travel insurance in the event that you happen to have uh, COVID while you're here, uh, the government wants to make sure that you're taken care of and you're not a burden to them. <clears throat> now, I've done some checking and I found only one company that offers it. It's Atlas Insurance. Again, there'll be a link down below for you to click on. Uh, however, you know, there's some restrictions applying to those as well. Like as an example, it doesn't work for Canadians. So, you know, it, it's kind of hard. Uh, I looked at this as being, wow, great, terrific. The borders are finally open. People can finally come to Costa Rica. Uh, however, though, the restrictions that were put in place to me seem unachievable for most folks, unfortunately. So we're going to have to just wait a little bit while longer, you know, until numbers start going on the downward curve in a lot of places. And the country of Costa Rica feels a little bit more confident with opening up the borders to allow people to come. You know, there's a lot of folks that own property here. Uh, some of you are watching this video, I'm sure, that can't even come to your own property that you own. I know it's it's terrible. It's a terrible thing. And I think it really needs to, to, to open up and to allow at least those who own property. And of course, they're COVID free, okay? And they can get some travel insurance, all right? That's fine, all right? But, you know, without such strong restrictions of 48 hours for the COVID test, as an example. So, you know, things are moving along. It is a good sign. We're progressing forward, which is a good thing. We're starting to see some opening up. Uh, this weekend happens to be a long weekend here in Costa Rica. It's Juanacaste annexation holiday. Okay, when Juanacaste uh, left uh, Nicaragua and became part of Costa Rica. And today, Monday, is actually the official holiday now. The 25th is the holiday, but they moved it to Monday. So this way, there's a three-day weekend weekend. And believe it or not, there are a lot of local tourists up in the area. Not tons, but there are some who came for the three-day weekend, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, as an update, as far as the COVID numbers here in our area, okay, of Playa Hermosa, Playa del Coco, Playa Acatal, in the county of Korea, where all these beach towns are, and Sardinal, and the golf course area out by San Blas, you know, we have very low cases. As of today, there's only 14 active cases. 12 have recovered for a total of, you know, 26 total cases and no deaths. So, you know, the numbers in this area are, are pretty good. Uh, people are doing their social distancing, wearing masks. It's a requirement as well. It'll be a requirement when you come to Costa Rica. So uh, long story short, hold tight. We're going to still see people being able to come here and enjoy the beauty of Costa Rica. 
so if you need any information, please feel free to give me a call. I plan on updating uh, as soon as I know more information that I can find out pertaining to the laws and, and the requirements of coming into Costa Rica. Uh, it's a great place to be. Just be patient. That's all I can say. So if you need more information, please send me an email to Joseph Emanuele at remax.net. That's Joseph E M A N U E L L I at remax.net. Phew. Boy, I'm glad I got this video done because it looks like it's about to start raining. It's that time of year. Have a great day, folks. Talk to you later. Bye bye.